What up guys, it is Valky, and we're playing Eichenwald. I'm sorry for the pronunciation of my German. One day I'll be able to get it. I need I need proper lessons on it. Right, so this is um, one of the first days I've been playing the map. So what I've done is I've gone into a custom game on a skirmish on my own as Farah, and I've got the ability cooldown for my left shift is on one second. So what I can do is I can kind of just jump around the map, and I can kind of see from above where I can go. This is one of the first things I do on new map. Uh, as Farah to find out which areas I can flank. So for example, if I use my my boost over here So I'm not going over this way and I'm like, oh, I've hit well This is as far as I can go. I can't go any direction except behind me over here about this house So yep, I can flank over this house. So That means what I can do is I can test it to see if I can actually go over So I'll boost up turn around use my concussive blast and then my space bar to kind of hover the last, last little bit Now this is a major choke point. So we've got the attacking spawn which starts down here. So these guys run down this way, up the kind of little hill bit, and this is the first major engagement point. So you're gonna have people protecting um, on the bridge, uh, underneath the bridge. Um, we could have people even as far out as around here to uh, defend, and if not, they'll fall back through. Now, one of the favorite things that I found is that you can actually flank over this way as well. So I go up, I use my concussive blast, and I can get straight behind them. So if they're on the bridge, I'm literally nailing them as soon as I get over. Uh, which is really nice. Um, another flanking route that I have found with Farah is if I fall down this way, you can kind of go around here as well. So you can go around. I'm only going to use one boost to simulate it as if I was kind of in the game now. And you can either go through this door and pretty much be behind them straight away. You can even get onto point. This is a great map for Farah to kind of flank around. You can get straight onto the point. So this is the payload. It's kind of like a battering ram payload. It's really awesome. Um, and it actually has a big jet that flames out near the end when you uh, take it to the doors that has to bash through. Uh, so again, that's a really nice flanking route. Um, where else we got? So I think we can get on top of this building here. So yeah, we can float around here. And you can do a lot of surfing on this map, which is nice. So surfing being sliding on the roofs so people don't hear you. There was one area uh, on top of these roofs here. So if I go around and I boost back up, I'm just going to use a couple of boosts. You can get up here without having two boosts. And you can kind of stay around here. So you, this is a lot of surfing. And when you're sliding on the roofs, people don't actually hear you. So you can drop down and you can kind of start putting rockets in. Or it uh, depends on what hero. A lot of the time this is uh, in bias for, for Farah. Because pretty much Farah can only get up here. I also found this area here that if I hold right, I can kind of stay in this area a little bit. Unless it's been patched. Uh, there we go. So I have to stay here and eventually it will kind of put me up into the sky. It's almost like the game recognizes uh, that you're stuck and it tries to put you free by knocking you into the air. But I can stay in the air quite a lot as Farah on this map. Uh, even just like floating around and waiting for my jump pack to uh, to cool down. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick walk around taking a look at the health packs along the way starting from the attacking spawn. So I'm actually still to discover some of them but we can have a look together. Alright so this is the attacking spawn. Uh, there's three different doors. One of them you come up at the top, one out the front, and then the final door out the side here. So three different ways of escaping from the spawn. So let's have a, a quick look around, shall we, for any health packs. So nothing around here. I mean, it's pretty close to the spawn, so if you were damaged here, most likely you would run back to the spawn. So in here I can spy a 250 health pack, uh, along with some broken down bastions. And a uh, nice poster, Die Crusader. Uh, on the right hand side, we got another 250 health pack in here. High noon on the uh, clock. What up, Bastion? And anything else in here? Nothing else around here. Okay, cool. Uh, so, opposite, a small 75 health pack. And then that's where the 250 was. So, this is uh, another kind of not flanking route as such, but you can kind of go through. What you've got to be careful here is the roof is open. Uh, great for Pharaohs. I can, I can boost straight out of here. So this is just one boost and the there you go, I'm back out once again. So as we come underneath the bridge, I'm pretty sure we scattered all of the health packs in that area. Uh, nothing on the right side. Let's go into the left side, which is com Computer Vault on Riptigan. So maybe it's like a computer, uh, like a LAN. So we've got another 75 in here. So we're going to scout around the left-hand side once again. So that's the edge of the map. Another 75 under the little bridge area. And let's scout on the right-hand side of the map now as well. So anything in here, nothing in there, and nothing around here. So this actually goes to a higher elevation of the uh, of the first point. So let's go near the capture point area. So it, by the capture point, 
You've got a nice little bit of cover from uh, one of these things. It's kind of like a big machine. Can, I think, is it anything to do with one of these? It could be. So if you check out in the far distance over there, you can kind of see like a massive vehicle that stopped. Um, so this is first point, payload, clock tower in the middle, kind of something like a clock tower. Any more health packs around this area? Nothing in there. Okay, health pack, 75 health pack behind the capture point, the first capture point. Let's go upstairs and... Nice antlers on the wall. Can you knock them off? Yeah, you can. You can blow them up. What's the clock say? What time is the clock? There's something to do with these clocks and the times, I swear. Uh, Alright, so at top here, you've got a stairwell that goes back down behind the capture point. Uh, another 75 health pack just here. So we've got 75 health pack, as we saw in there, with the antlers in the room by the payload. And then on the right-hand side, we've also got another 75 health pack. So anybody who's defending can fall back and get a couple of health packs, which should be able to put them onto full health. Um, so this is the first door that the payload goes through once you capture it. Is there any more health packs in this area? So I'm pretty sure we scouted that area for health packs. As soon as you get through on the right-hand side, cheeky little 75 health pack there. Health and restored. 250 inside. So you come through with the payload through this door. The payload follows the road up. If you need health, you can run straight forward. Now, this is one of the most interesting areas in the entire game for me. Because of how high the elevation goes, you're defending from up there. You can defend on the bridge. You can defend from here. So the attackers have got to literally push through as if you're trying to overthrow an actual castle. So uh, the attackers come through there, through the front, through there, through there, and through there. So they're the areas that they can come through. I'm not sure if this door closes after the payload has come through. It may very well do so, but you can run back through. So ways of going up to the top. So you've got through the stairwell straight ahead. As a pharaoh, I've pretty much got every option. Um, so I can run up the stairs. Let's do it as if I'm like a soldier or something. Let's run up. Uh, so this is the stairwell as if you're coming through the entrance. Uh, and you can continue running up to the top of the, uh, of the castle. So here we got the high ground on the bridge. So you're probably going to find that a lot of people are going to be defending from this area here. And that's, I mean, the high ground is the most optimal when you're defending, especially that the payload has to push through and underneath this bridge here. So the high ground you can get, I think the highest part you can get to is this part here. Uh, great for Widowmakers, great for Pharaoh, great for uh, Hanzos, for example. Um, and also this is an area which I think is great for the defending team. So anybody who can get up here. So I think maybe uh, Pharaohs again, Widowmakers, Hanzos can run up here, Genjis can sit around here. But for a Pharaoh, this area is great. You know why? Because I can literally go over pretty much anywhere here. So if I want to go through this area, I can go over the main gate, I can go over this area. All of this area, I can fly over. Uh, and what I, what I was doing in some of the matches, I would be going up here. And I'd be just blasting on here and kind of falling through. So I'm kind of skipping out a lot of the defensive area from up there. And it's only if anybody left is here. But I have another five teammates that can kind of deal with that. So let's go up again. So once again, back at the highest point. I wonder if we can get up here. Negative. We cannot get up there. What a shame. Um, so let's continue. So payload as if it was moving. Pretend it was moving through this road up here. Um, let's have a look on the left here actually before we go any further. So we've got a little bit of an underground area. Uh, let's go underground first. So under here we've got a 75 health pack. And on the right hand side we've got like a cellar with storage and stuff. 250. So this is the 250 as if you're running through. Now this is nice because you can run out here. If you're a Widowmaker you can grapple back up. Uh, again, great for Pharaohs. Um, so we've got a bit of the a bit of bridge. Best place to put your uh, spray ever. So let's go back to where we were so we can have a look at the high ground now. Alright, so we just went underground. Um, that goes up the other side. We're probably going to meet the other side if we go up here. If I'm not wrong. Okay, never mind. I am wrong. Uh, 75 health pack. Going up to the defensive point at the top again. Let's drop down this side. So this is the other side. So this is the defensive spawn. So this is where I spawned from at the beginning of this game. So this is the first point that the defensive team spawned from and where they will respawn if the uh, attackers have not captured the payload. So I can run out of that spawn, run down here, back to the 75 health pack. That goes down to where I jumped up onto the bridge. And the 250 health pack as if you're to running uh, to run through um, straight forward from the, uh, from the gates. So let's carry on running through underneath the bridge. 
this bridge where it's going to be heavily defended and now we've got a battle which is going to commence uh on this bigger bridge here so as a far off and me this is again another great location because if i'm in trouble i can fall off i can fly underneath i've even got somewhere i can go if i'm really in problems so i can go into here and then i've got 250 health pack just on my left hand side if i get in into into any shitty problems so epic battles will happen here areas to note to be careful of if you do capture the payload and it's coming through here, no longer will the defensive team spawn here. They're going to spawn inside the castle. you got to watch out for this hole here. This is where Hanzo's Widowmakers, again, Pharaohs can fly up to um, because it's pretty much one of the only ways into this door. Uh, once the door has been battered down, so what happens is the payload gets to around here. Then the payload has a huge battering ram that it blasts the door down with. But then what happens as soon as the door gets blasted down a secondary door actually comes down uh, and the only ways you can get into this area is from the left uh, from the left and the right and then also through the middle again <laughs> hopefully i can find a video example uh, to show you of that because it's pretty cool um so you've got some li little ledges here that you can stand on jump into if you're a hanzo if you kind of want to come from the sides but the only ways into this once you've uh, battered it down is through there through the right hand side and then once again in here so a health pack i think we've got a health pack down here i think we've got a 75 oh no we've got a 250 wicked man 250 there and we've got a 75 kind of just through on the other side on the right hand side so grab the health pack all right so a bit of defensive up here so if you're pushing in i guess you can kind of use the cover where would they they be uh set up? so there's some nice high areas over there for the uh, defensive team and um, for when the attackers are pushing in, this uh, kind of uh, chandelier can be sat on. Uh, let's have a little run around. Let's see what else is around here. Because I haven't properly explored this map. Some nice paintings. Fucking sombre clues everywhere, probably. Uh, 75 power pack. So coming through left-hand side, 75 power pack. And more clock. I swear these clocks have got some more meaning. They must have some more meaning. Let's running, carry on running around. Uh, that's a picture that's been in a few of them as well. So this is kind of going around the back. I guess if you want to flank around. Genjis and so on. Uh, I did see some Widowmakers playing here, defending. And the final point where Baldrick lies is here. So this is Baldrick. We uh, have just done a skin video for this. And this is the final point. You can see all the kind of broken down bastions around too. Everywhere, man. Some big bloody, or kind of not really bloody if you're a bastion. Maybe for Baldrick. Um, some battles. And look at this area. This is a very uh, kind of technical area computers maybe some part of overwatch was run here 404 time not found so let's carry on going on the right hand side up here so we've kind of been on the left we've gone around we've flanked up uh so up there there's nowhere else we can run there's a shut door okay so we jump down let's carry on running around here oh 250 health pack and what's this check the sword out i wonder what this means maybe there's more meaning to this but that's i swear down i swear down viewers YouTube viewers, I swear there's more meaning to this sword than meets the eye. It's sombra. Sombra sword, man. Sombra sword. All right, so nice 250 health pack up this area. Let's carry on walking around. So we go down. Pitch frames. Okay, on the left-hand side. Um, so this is... I guess this is where... This must be where you spawn. Uh, this must be where they spawn before they open the doors. So as soon as the battering ram takes down the door... The spawn point for the defenders will go from there all the way to the back sides around here. So let's carry on going around. This is where Baldrick lies. Um, another 75 health pack on the left hand side accompanied by a nice little cobweb. So this will be the spawn area uh, when it's arriving to the final destination. So kind of like a, a, I don't know, dining room. Can I even sit on these? Yeah, I can just sit up here. I can perch up here if I just want to appreciate the art. Um, what else have we got? 75 health packs. So we've got 75 health pack by the cobwebs down that side and also by the three or four grotty chairs on this side here. Uh, there's also a higher kind of perch. I actually shot my rocket through the through the slats then. Oh, another 75. So we've got 75, 75, and another 75 placed down there. So this is a nice area for Widowmaker. Is there anything else around here? I don't think so. So I guess a Widowmaker could perch up on here. Get a nice little shot through. This is a nice area as well. Check out this. So we've got a bit of a higher um, higher area we can set up here. Oh, good that. We can break down the uh, the ledge or whatever it's called. This thing. The edge. 
So we've got two high areas, um, and then we've also got this in the middle. Somebody, somebody can sit. You're most likely going to be detected pretty quickly. So this area here, I'm not too sure if this is any good for Farah. I mean, you know what I'm like, guys. I play Farah all the time, and I'll find a way to make it work. But it does seem a little bit confining that I can't really boost up too much. So this seems to be a good area for maybe, like, Reapers. Um, a Hitscan, McCree. Potentially, like, Hanzo, you know. This could be good for Hanzo with the high areas that you can keep yourself safe from. Um, so this looks like we've kind of covered the inside now. Let's just go back outside to see if there's anything else that we have missed on our journey here. Let's go have a look. Um, so I don't, I don't think so. I wonder how far this way we can go. I'm probably going to die. All oh, right, I can actually go underneath there. Nice. All right, so that is another way that I can go. Let's see if we can flank around the back of this. So, so I can't flank around the back, but I can kind of go over this here. Newspaper, what does it say? Crusader auf den Rückzug. Okay, if somebody German can translate this for me. Have a look at that. Translate that. Uh, so I don't think there's any... There's not much more. I, I personally love this map. I'd love to go up to under there, but I don't think I'll be able to. So let's go have a look. So another perched area up here that we can kind of shoot towards the castle. So how high can we go here? Oh, it's a shame that we can only go to like this high. I wanted to go on top of the castle. Look around. So this is the area you can flank around. So one of the quickest ways to get to the enemy uh, the enemy spawn is if you to cast a blast here and blast around. The enemy spawn is literally there. Like, look how close that is when you're going around from that side. So I actually baited some people over here. Like, I had a, a Reinhardt that I always bait and I go up and I can cast a blast him off the edge and he falls down. So that's pretty fun. But yeah, I've had a lot of fun attacking as far on this map. It certainly seems that the first couple of points are really good for Farah, like blasting up here, because of blast, and you can keep yourself safe. You can even like hide down here, like and wait for your cooldowns to finish. German people, I need you. Translate us, oh, Triforce. Uh, what does this mean? Sombra clues, man. Sombra clues. Invert it on Photoshop. Sombra clues everywhere. Where else can we go? Um, so where else? Yeah, I kept myself safe by doing this as well, going over here. You can kind of use the lip of the roofs to kind of give you a bit of more of a boost. Uh, so at this part, if I was to be capturing the payload, I'd be pretty much behind them. So I want to get to the highest point, which is here. Uh, you got to be careful. In this area, you might have like a bastion um, or, or somebody set up a, high, a hit scan probably. Um, probably at the higher games, you won't see bastion. Can I stand up here? No, this part pushes you off, unfortunately. Oh, I can kind of. Kind of, kind of. Um, so that is, I think, our first look at, uh, I'm sorry, I will get that right one day. Um, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be looking for more flanky routes. I might even do a specific video for Farah flanks, um, or routes to flank with on this map. Uh, because I'm pretty sure people would appreciate that. They did appreciate on my, uh, my other sneaky roots video, which if you haven't already seen, make sure to go and watch that video because it kind of covers a few of the other pre-existing maps and areas you can get to, areas you can go through, um, with different heroes and their abilities. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we've had a good first look at this map. Let me know what you think of this map. I really like it. I think it's beautiful. I really think this is a beautiful map. Um, kind of Disney princess, right? With the big castle. Uh, but yeah, this is cool, especially when the battery ram uh, knocks down the door as well. Uh, but big fan of the map, uh, and I think I quite like the idea that I do have to switch up hero as well when I get inside the castle. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Drop a thumbs up uh, and drop a comment if you if you like the map. Let me know. I haven't heard anybody yet who says they don't like this map, and I look forward to having you back on another video. Make sure to keep in tune for uh, keep tuned in for other videos on this map. Catch you later, guys.